krill is a very important protein source uh, for the uh, fish fish feed industry. It is a newish uh, product that we're using. In the Southern Oceans, there are vast quantities of krill. This is our warehouse. This is where we receive uh, all the krill meal that comes from Antarctica. The krill is processed on board the vessels. We actually make three products, oil for human nutrition, meal for use in pet, and then we're making uh, a meal for uh, aquaculture also. 80% of our volume goes to aquaculture. We intend to produce maybe 40,000 tons for aquaculture and pets, and that's just not a lot in terms of like the needs of um, the needs of aquaculture. Uh, but it's one of those alternative ingredients that can be part of of helping the aquaculture um, move away from fish meal. there will be more and more different alternative materials for fish feed, uh, raw materials, and that is due to the fact that we cannot uh, rely on uh, just a few sources of raw materials, and especially marine resources are, uh, are scarce and limited. Krill, which form these massive swarms and are actually thought to be one of the largest biomass of any animal species on the planet, um, they are consumed by all these different animals in the Antarctic, from whales to seals to fish to penguins to flying seabirds. Everybody is down there is relying on krill. Without krill, you really wouldn't have the Antarctic ecosystems that we see today. We are allowed to catch only 1% of the total biomass available. And this is very small amount for a for a small pelagic species, uh, usually for any anchovy or sardine fishery, kind of uh, which produce fish meal, uh, you are fishing about 40 to 60 percent of the stock. Uh, here we are fishing only one percent. We expect in the future that the catches will will not be static as now; it will change year to year. The expectation is that with the new management system, the quota may increase. I, I truly believe that will increase because, as I mentioned, the creation of years is really abundant. Uh, all the numbers suggest that in order to keep healthy population of predators, it's very unlikely that we're going to reach that 10%. I would venture that maybe just double that we have in the good years, but there will be also the years with lower catches. There is this interannual high variability of the crew biomass, but also there are evidences that the, this biomass is decreasing through time, meaning that even in the, the, the higher pairs of higher biomass, it's lower than it was in the past. As a general, in the northern part of the Antarctic Peninsula, the Pigocelles penguins populations are, are decreasing. Uh, the biomass of krill in the northern part of the Antarctic Peninsula is also suffer, uh, suffering changes, uh, local decreases and changes in the main distribution. So there's less krill available and whales are consuming more. And we also have the fishing that comes in the, the area and currently is, is fishing more than it, it, it was fishing 10 or 20 years ago. So it, it's probably a mix of uh, factors that are taking this uh, effect over the, the penguin populations. With the amount of uncertainties that exist, in my opinion, we should already have uh, some areas protected to, to avoid that uh, uncertainty affect the, the, the crew stocks.